my TTL computer update. It's been about two weeks since I did the uh, initial demonstration of the uh, first cut of the hex loader and loading up a program from my laptop, transferring that to my TTL computer, that simple counting program. And uh, while that did work, it proved the communications proved proved to be unreliable. So we've gone through three iterations of uh, the hex loader and changes in the uh, the serial uh, UART chip to add uh, a communications flag. And that communications flag is going to allow us to um, detect uh, when we have a byte to read, uh, if we don't have a byte to read, and if we uh, receive uh, a character in error. And we'll be able to know all those things from the COM flag. So we've, we're up to version number three in the hex loader, and uh, that is now uh, coded to use the uh, the com flag, and it implements um, a handshake. So what we mean by that is the hex loader will uh, receive a byte, and it will look at the com flag to determine if that uh, byte was received uh, successfully or in error. And if it was received successfully, it will do a positive acknowledgement to the sending program. And if it was received in error, we'll do a, a negative acknowledgement. So we, we call that a handshake. Now, since we're using this handshake approach for the uh, program transfer, we can no longer use a simple terminal uh, file send to send up the file, which that would just be a straight stream of essentially binary data. And that's not what we're doing anymore. We need that handshake. So uh, I have written uh, a small program on my laptop using PowerShell to do the transfer. And uh, we're all ready to do that. So I am going to press Enter. And we see that the transfer program is just waiting for the hex loader to uh, initiate the receive. And the hex loader is all uh, keyed in and ready to go. And I'm just going to uh, start up the clock now. And that's running. We see the send file is now transferring the file to my TTL computer. And that is done. And now the uh, program has been transferred up to the computer and is now running. And the uh, send program is simply just reading from the serial port at, uh, at this point and just echoing that data to the, uh, the Windows console. So really just basically seeing a, a simple one-way terminal here, a receive-only terminal. And the uh, program that was transferred up was just a My TTL Computer Hello World program. So we see that that's coming to the screen. And we also see that the program is running. And all of those, uh, all the serial I.O. is being uh, also displayed on the, uh, the digits display as well, since all of the communication uh, in and out, or out rather, from the uh, serial I.O. is also displayed on the, uh, the digits display. Now, if we see on the um, our send file program, we see all those dots. Uh, each one of those dots is a, uh, a byte send to the computer uh, and a positive acknowledgement uh, from my TTL computer. If there was a uh, a negative acknowledgement, we would see uh, a big X there instead of a dot, uh, but we don't since the communication has been uh, successful. So I've been running this uh, hex loader uh, and the update, pro the, the new uh, upload program uh, a bunch of times now, and surprisingly have not seen any negative acknowledgements uh, from my TTL computer. That's really surprising because Two out of three times with the other versions of hex load, uh, it would fail. So something was definitely going uh, wrong in the serial communications. That's uh, not happening. Not happening now. Uh, not exactly sure, 100%, what is the reason for that. Um, other than uh, 
perhaps there's some serial I.O. timing that's not exactly correct. Now, this is supposed to be uh, 9,600 baud, so there's very specific uh, you know, signaling timing uh, constraints that have to be happening for the bidirectional communication to be uh, successful. You know, at some point, I'll, I'll throw my oscilloscope on the, uh, the serial uh, signal and just confirm that those things are all as close as they should be for 9600 board. But um, beyond that, uh, the communications is working uh, really uh, well now. I have not had any uh, file transfers fail using uh, the new comm flag and the hex loader, this version three of the hex loader. So if we look at the uh, the speed of the uh, the serial coming out of the terminal, it's still pretty slow. Our clock speed is running at uh, 500 megahertz now, and that's a big change from uh, where we started. We only started at about 15 hertz in the very, very beginning uh, steps of our computer. Uh, we've come a long way since then. Uh, I still think we can uh, get a little bit more clock speed uh, out of the computer. And um, I'll try and bump that up to uh, 1,000 hertz. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to report further on that uh, in our next video to, uh, to see how that, uh, if we can support that speed or not. But in any event, so this has been a real... Um, uh, subsequent, uh, significant improvement. We've got good reliability out of the, the serial communications now for our file transfers. Uh, I'm really pleased about that. There was uh, a lot of work and effort to get to uh, this point of uh, good communications. And uh, this was really one of our, our you know main goals in the um, version two of the MyTTL computer was this ability to uh, open the door to doing uh, some you know, significant programming now on my laptop uh, rather than solely relying on the, uh, the data switches to do, uh, to do all the programming. So that's it. Thanks again.